Hey guys and gals and welcome. So we finally got information. We finally got information on how to find the dang rare items. What are the requirements? How high of a level do we have to be? Blah, 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 blah. We finally got information. Okay. Uh, a One of the de de developers uh, from Diablo 4, Adam Jackson, uh, posted this. And just to show you that he's actually a developer. Um, if you go to his page, um, he is actually listed as lead class designer for Diablo 4, Blizzard Entertainment, and you can you can verify that. Um, so he has said that uh, he wanted to clear up some things about the rarest unique items in Diablo 4. Number one, they can drop from level 85 plus enemies. So the monsters have to be level 85 or greater. So if you guys are level 70 or whatever, or level 75 or whatever, and you're doing your greater rifts, or I mean, I <laughs> greater rifts, uh, they do kind of seem like greater rifts, don't they? Uh, the... Nightmare Sigils. I don't know why I called it that. Um, you might want to bump it up to 85+, plus, so you have a chance at getting one of these amazing unique items. Um, you can get them anywhere you get regular uniques, and they always drop at 820 item power. So um, anywhere that you can get a regular unique, Helltide, Nightmare Sigils, um, doing your regular dungeons, um, or just you know doing like the Legion events, um, you know, like anywhere that you can get a regular unique, you can get these items. They're just extremely rare. Um, they do always drop at 820 item power, so they're not going to be like a crappy version of those items. Um, there are currently six of them that are extremely rare, um, and these are the six that are extremely rare. Um, the two two-handed swords, uh, well, well, one of them is a one-handed sword, one of them is a two-handed sword. Uh, Doombringer, which is really nice because it has a huge maximum life bonus of 26% on the cap there, which is actually pretty crazy, and a heal, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, but then it also does a huge amount of shadow damage and reduces the amount of damage done to the enemies when you hit them as well. Surrounding, so it's an AoE. Um, good Grandfather, which is actually something a lot of people have been seeking uh, because it increases your critical strike damage by 100%, which is amazing. Um, and all the other uh, you know effects can actually roll differently. It's a huge maximum life bonus of 2,269 uh, flat, which rolls as high as 2,717. I'm pretty sure you can upgrade these two, of course. So it's going to go a little bit higher than that. There is also the rings which is the ring of the starless sky which is actually really cool uh this one has each consecutive core skill cast reduces the resource cost of your next core skill by eight percent up to twelve percent to a maximum of 40 which is really freaking epic a lot of nice stats on that the andariel's visage has a pretty massive poison nova on it which could be very interesting for some poison damage classes i was actually considering this one myself for a poison class but it also has a life steal modifier on it two percent life steal um two percent life steal could be pretty massive um, I don't know exactly how much that would be, like, uh, depending, it's going to depend on each character, but, like, I'm actually really interested in that. Um, then we also have Harlequin Crest, which is, I think, the one that most people are after. This is the one that has the massive plus four ranks to all skills, um, and the 10 to 20% damage reduction, which is pretty darn cool. Huge bonus to maximum life. Um, 25 all stats, goes up to 28. Pretty, pretty epic item that I think a lot of people would love to put on their head. The Melted Heart of Seleg, which has the gain 30% maximum resource in addition to when you take damage and drain uh, 8 to 3 resource for every 1% life you would have lost instead. Um, this is an interesting one as well. The, the six, these six items are extremely rare. Extremely rare. Um, like to the point where literally only a couple of them have been found so far. Verifiably, um, as far as I know, there's only been like maybe two or three Harlequin Crest Shockos found. I have not heard of anyone finding a grandfather yet, um, and there's a lot of people that have been searching for this one. Um, Doombringer is actually very interesting as well. I wouldn't mind getting my hands on a Doombringer for a couple interesting builds. Uh, I would really like to get my hands on an Andariel's Visage. But the thing is, is that we now have verification of minimum level that you need to be for them to drop. So minimum level is level 85. Um, they can drop anywhere that you can get regular items, but you do need to be level 85 or higher. Now, monsters, most of the monsters in the game will scale, right? Uh, but Nightmare Sigils, you're going to have to actually run a dungeon specifically that is level 85 or higher. Um, I also like the fact that they will drop at 820 item power. We were actually surmising this earlier because all the screenshots said 820, but we weren't sure if they just got really extremely lucky. 
Um, but it's great that they're always going to roll 820 because that way they're not going to be useless because 820 is the currently the highest item power you can get with with the exception of some very odd um, like items that come from super uniques. Uh, I went over those in my super unique video. Um, anyway, I just wanted to drop this news on you guys real fast so that you guys know where to search for this stuff. You know, if you're on a lower level character and you're hoping to find one, well, you're going to have to level up first. Uh, maybe you hop over on your higher level character and start farming there instead. Anyway, as always, I'd appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when we're just talking about freaking ridiculously rare, unique items. And uh, as always, keep watching.